All right, so I just wanted to show a quick tool tip or machining tip. Um, I'm in a situation where I've got a machine that doesn't have the capability of doing uh, power tapping, so I'm going to have to do it a little bit differently. Um, I don't have a tapping head or anything like that, so I had to do something a little bit different. And I, But I, this is a fixture. I want to make sure that it came out good and straight and right and all the holes in the right place and perpendicular, all that good stuff. So I'm going to show you a trick on how I did this. So I've got a little tapping head in here. This thing's just a spring-loaded tip. Basically helps you keep centered on your hole and gives you some spring pressure to push it into the hole. And all I did was I jogged it over, over a hole, set it up, and set my height offset to just below so that there's some, when I get it in here, there's some spring tension. And see, it'll hold itself. You know, the spring tension will hold it in there. And then I go to my drilling program and uh, I'm going to hit start real quick so it's going to be kind of loud. So now it's going to position above that first hole. I'm going to have a single block so it'll stop there. I'm just going to start the drilling se se sequence. Ha. But I'm going to stop it part way through. That way, I can get it this in here and start my tapped hole. You know, it's already it's centered up on the hole that you see. It's centered on the hole. It's spring loaded. It's all good to go. I can just tap it by hand. And the spring tension on this will keep it pressed in the hole and keep everything lined up and straight. And if it happens to come out of the collet, you can see right here it's actually not attached anymore. That's all right. As long as you get a, your first few threads in, it'll start tapping straight, and after that you'll be fine. I'm just going to back it back out. Here, I'll set this back down so it's not so wobbly. Pull this guy out, and go on to my next hole. So I'm still in single block. I'm just going to hit start again. It'll act like it's drilling, but it's just drilling the air, not hurting anything. Hit cycle start again, get to the next one. I'm going to stop it right about there so I can do the next one just like that see it's in the hole start threading until I feel it bottom out in the bottom of the hole bam just like that nice thing about that too is you're not worrying about breaking your tap which you could do if you're just putting in a drill chuck and trying to go to town but yeah, that's how I do it. Um, turns out nice and straight. Everything's perpendicular. I don't have to worry about my holes being in the wrong position or being out of whack or cross-threading or anything like that, breaking taps. It just works first time, every time. Thanks for watching.